Today we have a great expert guest who's coming out to show us how to do a basic homestead skill and that's how to tie a special knot. This is a knot that you will use for the rest of your life if you learn it today. I would suggest you go get a rope and bring it. Watch this video with a rope in your hands and learn how to tie this knot. Our special guest today is my sister Priscilla. She's my older sister. She's an awesome person. She's a great resource. So let's jump right into learning the trucker's hitch. Arthur asked me to teach a knot called the trucker's hitch as part of the educational part of the vlog today. And I get to teach this knot regularly, usually to people who are 14 or 15 or 16. So I've taught it a lot. I hope my method works for you. If you do know this knot already, you will know this is super useful for cinching things down, for tying things into the back of a truck, for tying the corner of a tarp down to something, down to a stake or down to your truck. Uh, it's called a trucker's hitch. So it's used in places where the forces are pretty high. So if you're cinching something and then you're gonna drive 70 miles an hour, it has to be very secure. We need some terminology to begin with. So we've got a rope. We've got the tail end of the rope. This is not attached to anything. We've got the fixed end of the rope attached to, in this case, the bed of the truck. This also might be the end that's attached to the corner of your tarp. Two other pieces of terminology. Loop. This is a loop. The cord is crossing over itself. That's a loop. Contrast that to a bite. B-I-G-H-T, bite. The cord is not crossing itself, but it's a little bend in the rope or um, a bite. Loop, bite. Trucker's hitch, step one. Make a loop in your rope, pinch the bottom of the loop. On the tail side, make a bite and poke it through the loop and hold on. Pull that tight. That's a slip knot. Now, the best method here, if you don't know this well yet, would be to pause the video and practice that about 10 times. I'll show it one more time right now. Loop, bite, poke the bite through the loop, hold on. You'll know you tied a slip knot if when you pull it disappears. And you want the loop in your slip knot to be really small, like that. Trucker's hitch step two. Here's step one. In step two, take the tail end down and around a fixed point and through the loop that you made in step one. In this case, the fixed point is a hook on the side of the truck. You could also have this be a stake in the ground if you're tying down a tarp. One more time. Tail end down and around a fixed point, back through the loop. The really cool thing about a trucker's hitch is it gives you a two to one mechanical advantage. So for every pound that I pull down with my muscles, I put two pounds of pressure on the load that I'm trying to cinch down in the back of my truck. Here's step three. Cinch down, there's that two to one mechanical advantage happening. Cinch down on your knot, pinch it right here at the bend through where the uh, tail end goes through the loop. And then you're gonna tie it off. You're gonna tie it off with a figure four knot. There's your four. Take a bite of the cord, poke it around the vertical piece and through the hole in the four and hold on. Now it's tied off. Let me show that again. If you've tied a hemp bracelet, this is your basic hemp bracelet knot. Figure four, bite, goes behind the vertical end, through the hole in the four, and you cinch up towards the pinch point. Now, um, this is good enough for this particular truck. The carrots are reasonably secure. But if you're actually going to drive on the interstate, you might want to back that up with one more figure four knot. If you start step three and you run out of space, it probably means that step one was too close to the fixed point. So you'll need to start over with step one, move it further away from your fixed point so you have enough space to cinch it down. 
When you are done or you want to adjust the knot, you just pull on the tail and it pops loose. I'm gonna show you those steps one more time. Fixed end, tail end, loop, bite. Step one, loop, bite, slip knot. Step two, down and around the fixed point and through the loop. Step three, cinch it down, pinch the bend, figure four. Bite goes through the hole in the four and cinch it up. So that's the trucker's hitch. I remember my dad teaching me how to tie that knot in order to attach the canoe to the top of the car. It's a really useful knot for cinching anything down. Thank you Priscilla for coming out and showing us how to tie that great knot. I hope you all enjoyed that. Content will have a lot of other videos on knots and wilderness skills. And I hope you all have a great day. All right, did you get your toast painted? I did, you should check it out. Rainbow sparkles. Rainbow sparkles, oh, I think you got a little drip there. Yeah, I got it. A little bit of... Hey Priscilla, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming out. Did you get your toes painted? I did. Can I check them out? Yeah. What color is that? Brianna said Tahitian orchid. <laughs> Tahitian orchid. Wow, they look wonderful. Did you get your toes painted? The air my nails. Let's see your nails. Oh, oh my goodness. Go ahead and see my coconut. This wow. is Miracle Blue. Miracle Blue. Let me see it. Hold it. You gotta hold it still. Wow, Miracle Blue. Who did that? Me. <laughs> What's that color? Polka dot rose. Polka dot rose? Uh -huh. Wow. Look at my toenails. How often do we paint our nails? I don't know. Okay. Look at my toenails. Oh my goodness. Wow. Here's my other toenails. Whenever they remember that they have fingernail polish. <laughs> when they paint them. Not very often. But. Not very often. Put these away. Oh. I'm gonna put them away. I'm sure now that they remember, it'll be like every day for the next week or two, and then they'll forget again. What did you say? <laughs>